Marxism is done. It's already proven. Whatever. We already know what it is. There's nothing more to it. Now let's move on to gender theory and intersectionality. Base. Thank you, Sankaras Renault. The gorilla in the sun. Let me tell you another secret, guys. Marxism won. Okay? Everyone is a Marxist. Literally everyone is a Marxist. Everyone. Name a person, and I'll tell you they're a Marxist. The only difference is the levels of knowledge and literacy. Who's that? Even Pat Robinson, the, the preacher on Fox News, he was a Marxist. He just didn't know anything about Marxism. But he took Marxism for granted. Marxism's given. It's already been established. Its significance has been proven. And that's not what this is about anymore. But a lot of people are scared that Marxism might be wrong. Well, don't be scared, because everyone's already accepted that Marx was right, at least in some sense. Everyone who's educated has already accepted that Marx, Marxism is correct. It's just that not a lot... It's just, think about it this way. We've all accepted... Uh, you know, the, the, we've all accepted um, electricity is real, right? We just, it's not a lot of us know how it works, but we all have accepted it's objectively real, right? It's the same with Marxism. We've, it's, it's objectively just, it's given, it's already won. Just not a lot of people are educated about how it's true or why it's true, but it has, it's something all societies have taken for granted. Everyone is a Marxist in the world today. There are no non-Marxists. The, the notion is preposterous. Even anti-Marxists are Marxists. Because Marxism has proven its significance objectively in history. There's no need to gatekeep it because it's just, it's already won. But the question you have to ask yourself is, why has it that Marxism already won and our world is still so fallen and corrupt? Is it because not enough people are reciting the Shahada of Marxism? I don't think so. I think it's because the Marxists have got Marxism terribly wrong. I think it's because... They've turned Marxism into a weapon with which this rotten, rotten order is to be defended. The academic Marxists. See, the actual people who still call themselves old school Marxists, Richard Wolff and David Harvey, those are not bad people, right? But all academia takes Marxism for granted. You want to know why Richard Wolff and David Harvey aren't bad? Because they don't take Marxism for granted. They're exploring Marxism. They still think there's things about Marxism that need to be known and need to be understood. Whereas the woke professor and the woke academic and the academia in general, they have said, no, Marxism is done. It's already proven, whatever. We already know what it is. There's nothing more to it. Now let's move on to gender theory intersectionality the reason self-proclaimed marxists tend to be based is not because they're marxists it's because they have actually opened up the critical faculties that make it possible to subject marxism to interrogation and criticism marxists aren't based because they're marxist everyone's a marxist Marxists, self-proclaimed Marxists who are known for being that are based because they're the only critics of Marxism. Pat Robinson and Glenn Beck were never critics of Marxism. They have never actually criticized Marxism. They have only just put their own ignorance and illiteracy on display. But they've never actually critiqued Marxism. They never actually like pointed out potential problems with Marxism or anything. All they've done really is, you know, flaunt their ignorance to the world. You know David Harvey? David Harvey has challenged and critiqued Marxism. He's opened up the question of geography. Richard Wolff has done the same in his own way, right? 
I think the, the, what Richard Wolff's way is, it has to do with the cooperatives and things of that nature, which I don't necessarily agree with. But he's done it in his own way, too. All of these people have done things beyond heterodox, sorry, beyond orthodox established Marxism. Every, every good Marxist today is rejecting some established aspect of Marxism. I found Marxism when a very intelligent conservative told me I was a Marxist. I slowly started reading about Marxism and realized it was an articulation of a lot of my own understanding of the world. Thank you, Megadoffy. Appreciate you. Look, everyone's a Marxist. It's just, do you know you're a Marxist or not? But, I mean, look, should you take what I'm saying in the absolute? No, but just think about it, right? I'm not a metaphysician who's going to give you a fixed statement that applies universally. I'm saying this in a very restricted sense. I'm saying this in the sense of institutionalized and academic Marxism does not form any meaningful critique of the world we live in. It is perfectly compatible with the world we live in. That's what I'm trying to say. It poses no challenge or threat to anything. It is as superfluous as saying the sky is blue. Everyone is a Marxist. It's nothing new. His dialectic is a rehash of Hegel and his approach didactic, which is based. He was a poor philosopher and mediocre economist. Um, what does it mean for someone to be a good philosopher? Does it mean that they're like doing enough syllogisms and pp poo poos? P equals P equals P equals X equals Y. Is that what good philosophy means? Like being a good philosopher, it's like being like a good engineer, right? Everything's just engineering, right? I think that's what you're trying to say, isn't it? Every, every, pretty much everything's like engineering. There's no actual, yeah, like it's, he wasn't really like a good philosopher, you know? He like, uh, yeah, dude, you're so original. See, you are a Marxist. You're just not an interesting one. You're taking a lot of Marxism for granted in your thinking. You will never be able to critique Marx in an interesting way. Uh, we don't really need philosophy anymore. We've got AI and computers to do all that now. Who needs philosophy when we've got science now? Fui alaikum science. Fui alaikum science. I respect the boldness, the heroism of people like Dugan, Nick Land, LaRouche, uh, and other fallen heroes of the postmodern era who have challenged the tyranny of the institutions and had the courage to say, no, you're wrong, science. You're wrong. You are only one philosophical chronology and you have not... You have not inherited the end of history. You are not worthy of the mantle of the end of history. You are not worthy of the mantle of the universal state. That's what they've told these fucking scientists. And that makes them heroes in my eyes. Because they've done that and it ostracized them from everyone. It ostracized them from the world. The whole fucking mainstream media tried to bury them and attack them. Nick Land got fucking canceled 50,000 times. Dugan ostracized. LaRouche fucking smeared by the media. He was put in jail by the government. All heroes in my eyes. But you guys know, no one's ever critiqued me, and that's what makes me sad. I'm just sad that no one's critiqued me because I feel like if someone has crossed the threshold to get to where I'm at to even critique me, Critiquing me would be the last of their worries. That's what I think. I think if you stepped over to where I am, you'd just be like, holy fuck, Haas. Let's at least show people there's something on the other side first. I can critique you later. But no one knows there's another side here. Like, me, Haas, I'm standing somewhere. And you guys haven't crossed the line. Or whatever, these people who attack me, they haven't crossed the line. Because they think if you cross that line, 
You will disintegrate and disappear and die. No human can survive past that line. I crossed the line. I'm here. You don't believe I'm here. Or you, you think I'm a mirage. You don't think I'm real. You think I'm an illusion. You try to explain. You say, oh, this is an optical trick. He's actually a mirror and he's a hologram. No, I'm here. If you came and stepped over here, critiquing me would be the least of your worries. You would be shocked that you survived.